happy shit wars, guys. Soon, Saturday, it's like, I don't know, four or something, I think. Okay, way off, 5.13. It's been a busy day. My daughter had a play date. Play date, gone home. It's a great day. So, in this video, you're going to see a few clips of the harvest from this week. I'll show those now. Hey guys, I guess we have to do a harvest because we have to have our totals in before the end of the month, I guess. I don't know. Um, actually, I need to change that. Wow, that's almost two pounds. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever see that. Almost two pounds with two tomatoes. That is so awesome. All right. I have some green tomatoes here, and I think that I'm going to make Mark and Jessica from Team Woodcutter, Arkansas Woodcutter. He made a, a green thing, lime pickle something on his channel the other night, so or other day, so I think I'm going to do that with my green tomatoes, because I don't want to lose them. Alright, whoops, I dropped a bean. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so we've got 4.66 pounds. Oopsie, it fell off. Alright, on that one, let me clear out this. Now, I do have some beans, pinto and kidney that I need to weigh in, but I will do that later. I still need to take them out of their shells. This is stuff that I got today, and today is Tuesday. I got a few stragglers. Most of all my fall crops have been planted into the ground or into the beds, and these are just stragglers are just still going from the summertime. And that is 1.03 pounds. And I never weighed my sunflower seeds. I still need to do that because we haven't finished getting the seeds out yet. So I'll have another one. You've probably seen these, oh, at least one of them in a video a couple weeks back. Bella was helping me. But this is as far as we got. So I'm going to finish getting the seeds and then I'm going to do a weigh-in for my sunflowers. Okay, so this is going to be my last radish harvest for the year. Um, I forget what kind of radishes these are called, but there's some small, some big, but the radish greens, I eat them, so I weigh all of it, and that's Point, actually, it says 0.89 in the pound. I'm just going to put it to ounces. So 14.2 ounces on my last radish harvest for the season. Now this is going to be... These are kidney and pinto beans. They are not, you know, quite, they weren't really ready as far as for drying. So I like to eat these. I like to open them up and eat them like snow peas, or I might just eat the whole thing. But they're too green to, um, you know, shell and save. So this batch, I'm actually going to eat. I'm going to scrub them down and eat them. And I also have a few peppers left. So that's 11.3 ounces for that. You can see here, you can hear them, they're dry. These are the kidney and pinto beans that I'm going to shell, and I will weigh them outside of the shell because obviously I won't be eating the shells. But like the green ones, I'll be eating those green ones. So that's the difference. So I'll be weighing these as soon as I get them out of their pods. So I'm finally done shelling my sunflower seeds. And we're going to go to ounces on that. 3.2 ounces. 
that's quite a bit of sunflower seeds. Now I'm going to save a good portion of these and then the rest I'm going to toast, salt, and eat them. So next year I will plant a whole lot more sunflower seeds. So that's it for that for this season. So here is the, the, this is what I do to my radish greens. After I cut off the radishes, I kind of soak them in some water and then I take this out and I spin it and then I'll put it in a freezer bag, put them in the freezer and I'll take them out as I want a smoothie. So just thought I'd share with you that. The spinner, you just pull this thing, let it go. I've been using this kind of all summer to clean my green beans and st stuff like that. So it's pretty good most of the moisture is out and then I'll shove it all into this bag this is good for like four or five smoothies you will not believe the amount of smoothies you can get from radish greens that's my favorite way to eat the radish greens I like them in smoothies I don't make sauce out of the leaves I don't put them in salads um, but the smoothies they work out the best for me the radishes and the kidney and pinto beans that weren't quite um, dry but I cut them or you know cut the ends off you'll see some beans floating around in here but I'm going to throw these in my instant pot with some butter garlic and salt and that's going to be a nice side dish yeah and they're so pretty okay. I am weighing in my beans now I have more beans, they're not ready, but I have no idea if it's the end of this month or October 31st. I don't have a clue, but if it is, this is my last bean harvest. If not, I'll have more later. So five ounces of this batch right here. I have no idea if this is the last weigh-in or not. I don't know if it's going to the end of September or the end of October 31st. If it goes to the end, I will have a lot more because behind you, I have a bell pepper plant that it's got like 30 peppers on it and they look amazing, but they're not quite ready to be picked. I have, let's see, four tomato plants to my right here. I don't know if it's getting to be too cold. I don't know if they'll produce. But I have three yellow pear tomato plants that have about, about 25 tomatoes on them right now. They're not ready. Will they finish growing? I don't know. But if they do, and we go to the end of October, I may be able to count them in. I have some Asian pole beans that are not quite ready, that are still growing. And I have... Um, pinto and kidney beans that are still drying but they're not ready yet so I did not weigh them in and I have some herbs back behind me that I meant to weigh in today but I forgot so you know so this is it for the end of the season and my first year little garden has brought in 120.09 pounds of food for my family and I'm really excited about that. I've never done that before. And I've canned, I've dehydrated, I've froze a lot of things. So I'm really happy about that. Now I've had a lot of um, good things in this garden. I had a lot of cucumbers early on in the season. I had quite a bit of um, zucchini. I had a few crookneck squash. But my biggest weigh-in was my sweet potatoes. They were, I got like 11 and a half pounds of sweet potatoes. And that's probably small to a lot of you, but for me, that's pretty darn big. So I'm really happy with that. My pumpkin, which is behind you, I didn't weigh it because it's going to be a jack-o'-lantern. We're not consuming it, so I felt like I should not weigh it in. So that's it for my, my shed wars. Um, there are so many of you that I've learned from. I, I can't say you all because I would forget someone and I feel bad about it. But I love y'all and a big huge thank you to Mark, Arkansas Woodcutter. He is the reason that I am even in the Shed Wars. 
So a big huge thank you to Mark. And I do have to say John at Will It Grow has been amazing to me too. He has helped me with all the questions I've had. Um, you know, this is Shed Wars. Even the opposing team captain helps everyone, you know. I know there's been some craziness along the way with all the roast, but as far as I'm concerned, it's been all fun, so. Thank you all for watching in the Shed Wars. Thank you all that are not part of the Shed Wars for the Gouache. It's been a lot of fun for me. I've learned so much this season. My fall garden is in full swing. I have so much, you know, in the ground, in the dirt, so to speak. A lot of my seedlings have already come up, so I'm very anxious and curious to see what's going to happen with those. So that's all I have for today. So I just want to say thank you to everyone. And Shed Wars has been really awesome. And if there is a Shed Wars 2, I hope to be part of it because I've met some amazing people that I will cherish forever. So thank you all so much. Until next time. Bye. Oh, you know what? Wait, before I go, I want to show you this. This is my new gardening table. Let me bring you in closer. My husband built this for me. He finally finished it. But it's pretty nice. I asked him not to paint it pink because I really wanted the natural wood on this one. It's got a little cupboard. It's got these little... It's small, but, you know, I keep a couple of things in there. So, yeah. I have some workspace to do things on, which I love. So, thank you to my hubby, if you watch this. So, thanks, guys. Till next time. I'm going for real now. Bye.